Hello guys, I just thought I'd give you a quick update on my digital picture frame project. Now as you can see, the uh, little screen is indeed playing the video. But if you look up here, this is a terminal that's connected to it over the network and you can see it's dropping all kinds of frames. And also the screen is quite blue. Um, that blue tint just bugs the crap out of me. But it's dropping hundreds of frames. Um, I can't find a video compression method that the Pi Zero can successfully decode. Uh, it's just not strong enough. And this little screen, although it's really cool, <laughs> um, has that color tinting problem. So it kind of works, but not not well enough. So I'm going to put this uh, idea back on the back burner for now uh, until I get a better pie to play with, uh, something a little more powerful, and uh, a better screen, uh, something with HDMI input. But it's working. I mean, you can see I've got the Raspberry Pi Zero back here. It's powered by USB. The screen and everything is all powered by the same single USB connection. So I am going to use this um, device for something else. I'm going to look at a project I ran across called uh, Ham Clock that uses a Raspberry Pi to create an informational display and see if I can use that with this little screen or I might do my own custom um, thing. The resolution on this little screen is 640 by 480 which makes it problematic for doing things like running FL Digi. <laughs> I was thinking about making a little go kit digital modes computer uh, but again this screen might be too small so We'll look at that. I'm going to break uh, Control C. There you can see the desktop. Um, it's a full desktop. Uh, you could actually run any of the software on here that you'd run uh, on a regular desktop, like LibreOffice, if you wanted to do word processing on this tiny screen. Uh, but again, you can see the blue tint to the uh, graphics. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, put a picture up on here. Now you can see it's kind of slow. I just hit enter there and we're still waiting. And there it is. And uh, I've posted that picture on the Facebook page. It is not supposed to be that blue. It's supposed to be very green. So uh, yeah, the little screen has a strong blue tint to it. But you know, it does work. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick update. It's not going to work with the Pi Zero for what I want it for. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll move on to something else. I think I'll play radio tonight. Um, how about uh, after sunset uh, we get the camera out and uh, see if we can copy some stations on 630 meters. Hmm? Okay, so. Sorry this one hasn't come through to fruition, but... Uh, you know, that's the thing about experimenting. You just really don't know until you get that far. And the software setup on this guy was very involved, too. So I think I want to go with an HDMI screen to make it less involved uh, for setting up the digital frame. I am going to revisit it. All right, so that's your update. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.